my guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful day here in uh, the end times. I'm glad to see that gas has dropped uh, about 20 cents a gallon here on this gorgeous Wednesday, February 7th. I was uh, 2024. I was just listening to John Denver <laughs> singing Take Me Home Country Roads as I'm uh, driving down Highway 40 and coming into Ocala, Florida. You know, I just, uh, this is just my my regular chronicling of the collapse of uh, the state of Florida. You know, I, I remember when this, uh, when, when Highway 40, John Denver could have written that song, uh, Take Me Home Country Roads, about this road. And, uh, <laughs> good fucking God. Look at this, we have a, I guess this is a double wide, uh, heading out to wherever. So, uh, coming into the Highway 40 I-75 interchange in Ocala, Florida, I think they might be, uh, getting ready to, uh, put a Bucky's in here, somewhere around here. They're talking about uh, putting in a giant Bucky's. I am absolutely amazed that there is still a vacant lot on Highway 40 uh, in sight of I-75. So we've got one public storage on that side and probably another public storage within a, a quarter mile of here. So, uh, I am off to Oklahoma, Florida to, uh, I, 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 this is a horse trailer, but I can't believe that they even have a, a horse trailer place still left in Ocala, Florida, because every goddamn, uh, horse farm around here is, uh, being turned into a fucking, you know, either a strip mall or a trailer park uh, so I am heading off to Oklahoma, Florida <clears throat> one more time I was actually uh, just about to write an offer on uh, just about to write an offer on this place in Inverness and <clears throat> At 10.23 last night, 10.23 at night, the damn phone rings. And I'm thinking, who the fuck is calling me at 10.23? Uh, and I go there, and, and who it is is my Oklahoma real estate agent. I've, I've never met this woman. I've talked to her a bunch on the phone, and I really like her. She's She moved down here from New York. 27 years ago and to Oklahoma, Florida and uh, never went back. Uh, so I've only seen a picture of her and, and she looks like a, you know, an attractive woman maybe in her late 50s. And so she calls me at 1020 last night, which I thought was kind of weird. And <clears throat> I'm telling you, I said, well, darling, I said, I'm getting ready to write an offer in Inverness tomorrow. And I said, you better, uh, you, you better make this phone call count. <clears throat> so she wants me to look at four more properties <clears throat> in Oklahoma, Florida. She says, hold off on Inverness for one more day. So, uh... I'm down below three dollars a gallon uh, here for gas, at least in Ocala, Florida, and uh, so I'm off to Oklahoma, Florida. Once again, I just have to get through Ocala to uh, 
to get there. But, but, but anyway, so we're, we're talking last night. I'm, I'm talking to this real estate agent, you know, trying to sound like, uh, like I'm all professional real estate investor, you know, playing my real estate investor game. And <clears throat> just out of nowhere, she goes, she goes, Sam, she goes, I've got to say, you really have a unique outlook on the world or something like that, a unique point of view or something. And I said, I said, I, I said, I think that's a compliment. I said, but what are you basing that on? And she goes, well, that YouTube channel of yours. And I said, I said, what YouTube channel of mine? Uh, and her answer was, uh, she goes, that political one. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but I've been enjoying a lot of your videos. And I'm, I'm, I said, well, I, I said, I assume you're not talking about my Airbnb rental uh, YouTube channel, and she said, no, it was the political one. I'm 99% sure that she's talking about Collapse Chronicles and is unaware of uh, of Humpty Dumpty Tribe because she, she never used the word ham bone. And uh, so, so anyway, <clears throat> but my, my realtor in Oklahoma is uh, enjoying uh, my my doomer uh, outlook on life, so that so that's encouraging. So maybe I have found my doomer chick real estate agent. Uh, <laughs> after all, uh, <clears throat> so I'm just driving by these places. So I'm still uh, not going not going to meet this woman today. But now, of course. Uh, I, obviously, I I, I, I want to meet this woman. We were on the phone for like 45 minutes, uh, blabbing. So uh, I, I decided after uh, after that turn of events that I ought to check in at a pile of fish because you know I've been uh, emailing these women in in uh, in New York and the one that I'm most interested in you know this hippie chick in uh, in in Ithaca I don't think she's a doomer but she's a uh, fiddle player in a contraband so she she's a fiddle player she she's a big organic gardener and all of this stuff she's 61 years old uh blah 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 so we've been emailing back and forth so she's the main one that i wanted to check in i haven't been on a pile of fish uh in, in several days so this is downtown ocala florida i'm coming into by the way if you're wondering where i am uh and She's just gone. This completely fucking disappeared. So it means one of two things. Either she's just decided uh, she's reconsidered our email thread or my profile or something, and she has blocked me personally and just shut off, you know, ghosted me. Just, uh, just completely ghosted me personally, or she just gave up on pile of fish altogether. Uh, it's one of the two. So I had a message from her, and let's see, was it two or three more messages for the? Well, I've been uh, so I've been emailing these three women. So that was the the main one that I was interested in. 
the one that I was second most interested in, uh, you, you know, she she let she let me know that she was uh, trying to decide. She's she's in Ithaca now. She she's trying to decide whether she wants to stay in Ithaca, move to southern Pennsylvania or Maryland. Apparently, she's had these three offers from the universe. And uh, so I'm waiting around. Obviously, I was hoping she was staying in Ithaca. Well, at least she's not staying in Maryland. But um, she has uh, decided to move to southern Pennsylvania, that she is moving two hours uh, south of me now. And uh, she just said, you know, sorry, uh, you sound like a great guy, but I'm just not going to, you know, I just, I, I just don't want to start something with some guy from two hours away. So then I go to the third one, and uh, she tells me, she goes, you're really a sweet guy, but uh, I've been thinking on it, and uh, there's no way uh, that I'm going to get involved uh, w with some guy who takes off for six months a year, that I am not going to uh, leave my family, you know, all her, you know, she's got her kids and blah, blah, blah. She goes, I'm not going to leave my family in New York uh, for six months a year to follow your ass. I mean, she said it a little more politely than that, but she said, you know, it's just not going to happen. Uh, that I, you know, that I'm that I'm not going to uproot my uh, my my damn life over it. And that's right. Then I so then I had a a fourth one from uh, this woman, I guess she actually found my profile, uh, who, who I really like. She's from Morrisonville, New York. And I, I said, Morrisonville, uh, I, I said, it's not ringing a bell. I, I said, how far are you from Ithaca? And she says, I'm five hours <laughs> she's what, what she is she, she's right on the west shore of Lake Champlain right across the lake from Burlington Vermont and I just and I, I said five hours uh, I, I, I said lady you know I, I said if we meet in the middle uh, we, we, we've got two and a half hours uh, so that was my uh that was my latest pile of fish. Uh, that, that was it. I have been thrown back, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I am not a keeper from all of these fisher women. But maybe my uh, Doomer Chick realtor in Oklahoma, Florida. Uh, <laughs> Maybe she will. She will be the one. Uh, look at this shit. You, you know the, the, this shit. It just I, look, look at this shit. It, it, it just goes on and on and on. How long does this shit go on for? Uh, this this strip mall shit. Uh, I'm heading out towards Silver Springs. You know, we used to come down here uh, every year when I was a kid. Uh, this was one of our favorite places. So uh, every year we would uh, spend a night at, here at Silver Springs, Florida. I, I, I mean, Silver Springs, Florida, it was, I, it was this little bitty uh, 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 Ocala 
what was a small town and Silver Springs, I mean, it was out in the wilderness. There is this little motel we'd go to. It was one or two little mo uh, little mom and pop motels. I noticed the motel is still here. I am thrilled to see that that motel is still there in Silver Springs. But uh, it, th this was all. I, I, I don't know when this, uh, right where I'm sitting, when was the last time that this was, was a country road? Uh, it is now a five-lane highway. Highway 40 is a five-lane highway. Uh, Good fucking God. Uh, you know, you could you, you could be anywhere in, in, in the goddamn US right here. I mean strip mall after strip mall after strip mall. This has been pretty much an unbroken strip mall on both sides of this street uh, since uh, since we left downtown so now we're starting to get into the little uh motel district all right i thought we were back in the country but what this is is a golf course don't get me going on these goddamn uh golf course rants Ah, Jesus. You want to stay in your own lane, fucker? So we're three miles from Silver Springs here. Uh, we're still in the strip malls. Uh, so now I guess we're about two miles from... Silver Springs State Park and uh, the the strip malls are going on and on uh, all right have we come to our last strip mall or are the fucking strip no nope, there's a, a another strip mall uh, so we're now at 36th Street so we've now had 36 pretty much unbroken blocks of strip mall. So the strip mall goes down 36th Street, which is a four-lane highway. So we have strip malls on both sides of Highway 40. We have the Walgreens here. You know, we had the CVS at the last light. Uh, we have strip malls heading down. Look at 36th Street is now a four-lane highway. Uh, good fucking God. Here is the Ocala Mall. And there's a and, and there's something new being actually being built. You know, some rumor that malls are dead. Uh, all right. Are we getting to have we gotten to the end of our last strip mall. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright. I think we're finally we have finally gotten to the edge of Ocala because the Sonny's Barbecue is uh, I, I, I actually remember when they opened this Sonny's the Sonny's was probably opened 10 or 12 years ago. All right. Got a call coming in. Maybe it's my Doomer Chick real estate agent. I think it is. Bye, guys.